This is the news about 2016 Porsche Cayenne GTS, first drive review. We brought the wrong footwear. Warned that our first drive of the 2016 Porsche Cayenne GTS would take place in extreme cold weather conditions in northern Sweden. We'd pack the same heavy, clunky, thermal line work boots that serve so well for walking a dog on bitter winter mornings in Michigan. Turns out most of the day would be spent at Skellefteå at Drive Center, a dedicated facility at a former airbase where we exercised the GTS by ice dancing through a slalom, drifting on a skid pad, and challenging our car control skills on a handling circuit. The latter was a slippery tangle of S-bends and hairpin turns on an icy surface through a tunnel of banked snow. The driving mocks we'd left home in the closet might have served better for gently caressing the pedals. But we devoted 27 hours to dragging those boots onto three planes and through four airports. Damn if we'd leave them in the luggage and endure even a few minutes of cold toes. Besides, the Cayenne GTS rewards a heavy right foot. The GTS, a turbo-look version of Porsche's best-selling model which slots between the S and the turbo, has lost two cylinders but gains 20 horsepower in the transition from its former naturally aspirated V8 power plant to the new twin turbo 6. This is the same blown 3.6 liter V6 that powers the revamped Cayenne S, but here it's tuned to deliver 440 horsepower and 443 lbft of torque rather than 420 and 406. It's strong enough to push two and a half tons of SUV to 60 miles per hour in less than 5.0 seconds, according to Porsche, which cites a 4.8 second time with the optional Sport Chrono package, or 4.9 without it. The last V8 GTS we tested needed 5.5 seconds. The new GTS is also said to lap the Nürburgring in 8 minutes, 13 seconds. Just 14 ticks longer than Porsche claims for the mighty, 570 HP Cayenne Turbo S. For more complete this news, go to source link on video description. Thanks for watching this video.